What is an S corporation according to the IRS? The designation of S corporation status is conferred on those corporations that elect to pass corporate income, losses, deductions, and credits through to their shareholders for federal tax purposes. The shareholders of S corporations report the flow through of income and losses on their personal tax returns and are assessed tax at their individual income tax rates. This enables S corporations to avoid double taxation on their corporate income. S corporations, however, are responsible for tax on certain built-in gains and passive income at the corporate entity level. The Internal Revenue Service's requirements for S corporation status are set out in their instructions for Form 2553 with the corporate entity being necessitated to meet all eight requirements or tests. Number one, the intended S corporation is either one, a domestic corporation, or two, a domestic entity eligible to elect to be treated as a corporation that timely files IRS form 2553 and meets all the other tests listed hereafter. In the event that the subject entity does not timely file IRS Form 2553, there is a relief provision available. Number two, the intended S corporation has no more than 100 shareholders. The subject entity can treat an individual and their spouse and their estates as a single shareholder for purposes of this test. The subject entity can also treat all members of a family as defined in section 1361 sub c sub 1 sub b of the Internal Revenue Code and their estates as a single shareholder for purposes of this test. Number three, the intended S corporation's only shareholders are individuals, estates, exempt organizations described in section 401 sub a, or 501 sub C sub 3 of the Internal Revenue Code, or certain trusts described in section 1361 sub C sub 2 sub A of the Internal Revenue Code. Number four, the intended S corporation has no non-resident alien shareholders other than as potential current beneficiaries of an electing small business trust, ESBT. Number five, the intended S corporation has only one class of stock, disregarding differences in voting rights. Generally, a corporation is treated as having only one class of stock if all outstanding shares of the corporation's stock confer identical rights to distribution and liquidation proceeds. See Income Tax Regulation Section 1.1361-1L. Number six, the intended S corporation isn't one of the following ineligible corporations. A, a banked or thrift institution that uses the reserve method of accounting for bad debts under section 585. B, an insurance company subject to tax under subchapter L of the Internal Revenue Code. C, a domestic international sales corporation, DISC, or former DISC. Number seven, the intended S corporation has or will adopt or change to one of the following tax years. A, a tax year ending December 31st. B, a natural business year. C, an ownership tax year. D, a tax year elected under section 444. E, a 52-53 week tax year ending with reference to a year listed above. F, any other tax year, including a 52-53 week tax year, for which the corporation entity establishes a business purpose. Number eight, each shareholder consents by signing and dating either in column K of IRS form 2553 or in a separate consent statement. The following special rules apply in determining who must sign. If an individual and their spouse have a community interest in the stock or in the income from it, both must consent. 
Each tenant in common, joint tenant, and tenant by the entirety must consent. A minor's consent is made by the minor, legal representative of the minor, or a natural or adoptive parent of the minor if no legal representative has been appointed. The consent of an estate is made by the executor or administrator. The consent of an electing small business trust, ESBT, is made by the trustee and if a grantor trust, the deemed owner. If the stock is owned by a qualified subchapter S trust, QSST, the deemed owner of the trust must consent. If the stock is owned by a trust other than an ESPT or QSST, the person treated as a shareholder by section 1361 sub C sub 2 sub B must consent. A parent S corporation can elect to treat an eligible wholly owned subsidiary as a qualified subchapter S subsidiary. If the election is made, the subsidiary's assets, liabilities, and items of income, deduction, and credit generally are treated as those of the parent. For further details, see IRS Form 8869, Qualified Subchapter S Subsidiary Election. Thank you.